Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my Patreon powered reaction to the 8th episode of Soft Tenny. <coughs> my voice kind of broke there. But yeah, the last episode. The first half of it was about a very interesting girl from Kurodama who was essentially went to Shiradama to do some spying work, spying on the Shiradama Soft Tennis Club. And yeah, she got, she definitely got some information about them, probably more than she bargained for. But if, in the end, she actually had quite a bit of fun, and that was the takeaway that she gave to her spy master. The second half was the, our girls going on a hiking trip to try to go to a training camp. And there was some hot spring fun, some bear fighting fun. And they eventually got there, found balls and unconscious girls everywhere. So, you know, a usual Saturday for me. And one girl just standing there, like menacingly, like she was the one that did all that. So, I think it's safe to say that she did all that. And the first frame of the next episode here actually shows a girl, like, cratered into the ground. So, her skirt's flipped and you can, anyone can clear as they see her panties. And she wouldn't even be able to tell if anyone's looking because her head's underground. I thought that was interesting. So, let's get into it. Let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. <laughs> Man, I even got a close-up of that it's crater girl. <laughs> and yeah, panty shots everywhere. Of course she knows her. Kurodama. That was the same school that sent the spy, I'm pretty sure. I mean, she's pretty cute, though, so I can't be too mad at her. <laughs> Especially when... What's your face? has such a silly look on her face. No, you didn't. <laughs> well, okay, then. Uh, what a better, what better place for training, really? If you think about it. Huh. But yeah, at moments like that, it doesn't always really seem like soft tennis. It seems pretty hardcore. And then you get back into the silliness of the opening. And the silliness of the cow. Honestly, half the tranny was just then getting there. I feel like if you play tennis in a blizzard like that, when you go to hit the ball, the ball would just shatter the wires of the tennis ball racket and just go through. Wire strings, whatever you want to call them. They got in my way. <laughs> that was a pretty intense warm up. I volunteer. I'd be more than happy to warm you up. <laughs> no, let's go to my underground, underground lair. Where nobody will hear your screams. Uh, she's gonna do it. Have you met Kotone? <laughs> yeah, she lives for this stuff. And Hassan is gone. <laughs> like, obviously very reminiscent of what the one spy girl saw when she was doing... <laughs> Unfortunately, you had a good run. It's fine. I just want to take Asuna's hair and just snip that thing off. Oh, 
Oh, where are you going with this? I was expecting a Luda image there, but... Is she gonna... <laughs> wow, there's almost nothing there to grope and she still managed to do it. That's expected of Asuna. Oh, there was something to grab. Uh... But yeah, Asuna is clearly the professional. No backing out now. <laughs> A conveyor belt? A treadmill? <laughs> A very... Okay, that's... <laughs> it it's very... Bare, a brief, brief kind of panty shot, and yeah, it showed us a couple more blatant ones. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's great. What, did you not realize? And Eve has a cute kitty on it, and she realizes now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Nyan Taro. Maybe a character I'm not aware of. <laughs> you could, let's say you can do it, Elizabeth, but. And yeah, I like it. you can see her. <laughs> it's taking everything I have not to die. I'm sure Kudusu can do it. Oh, is that motivation? <laughs> Or an egg, one of the two. <laughs> Music. <laughs> I guess they made it to the other side after stopping. <laughs> she just run through them. Oh, apparently they were just somehow still without having cleared it yet. <laughs> I'm glad they animated that. I'll have to go back and take a better screenshot of that. Well, that'd be a great gif. And catch it with your teeth. That's the only way to have the proper training. <laughs> well then go for it. <laughs> it's electrified. <laughs> wow. Nobody ever s explains things as well as they should in this show. <laughs> She's like, I'll pass. Can you do it? <laughs> Without getting an afro? What if it hits you in your sweet spot? <laughs> wow. Good job, Asuna. <laughs> she actually is pretty cute. Just that bouncing. <laughs> Is this weird? It's completely normal to me. Oh, the full set. Yep. You can't say no to this. I have my screenshot button ready. Oh, yes. That was definitely worth it. Because you're meant for it. <laughs> a cinder, a cat girl. <laughs> and as girls, you think they'd be able to handle balls better than that. <laughs> Go.
Kurissa. <laughs> they even tie their thumbs together. Of course, that means if one of them falls, they all do. And the sound effect is very important. Don't let go. Oh, <laughs> apparently everyone's going down. Including your skirt and panties. I was just expecting that skirt to go, but they took everything. At least there'd be a good view on your way down to die. <laughs> Just embarrassed her enough. Between the clothing removal, the cat cosplay, to letting her know that her pants were visible earlier. The fiery chamber. It's a sauna. Don't be all chuny. Like her hair sweating. Hey, it's better than the walls closing in on you. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the new girl. I'm not gonna lie. Considering how short the amount of time we've had with her has been, I do quite like her. <laughs> oh yeah, I got all the information I need. <laughs> yeah, some great footage. <laughs> No, make copies of it and post it online. A nice eye catch. Uh, and yeah, another episode where I'll have to do a lot of censoring. They seem to always be showing up one way or another. <laughs> There's something, all right. <laughs> like how the arrow lets you know where Kurisu is. Apparently that bath did wonders for them. <laughs> yep, they saw that. <laughs> Maybe Leo did this magic on them. <laughs> yep, there's Leo. And by that reaction, yeah, it's what Leo's doing. <laughs> Man, you could so take so much of this out of context. Yep, with his magic hands. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn, Kotone. Leave everything to his capable hands. <laughs> Five orgasms later. Oh, wait, Harem, I never heard of that concept before. <laughs> so that's what he's doing. 50 times? <laughs> so 
some delicious looking food there. <laughs> oh, we're feeling great now. After Leo had his way with us. At least it's an HD camera for those great shots. <laughs> Do you not notice the camera over there? <laughs> wow, that really stands out. Yeah, I wonder whose that is. Yeah, I got a mistake. But yeah, she is adorable. <laughs> Aww. I think my image of you is quite different than the one you want to portray. <laughs> this is the life. The black room. <laughs> it makes sense Kurodama would have the black room. Hey, that's some quality footage. I don't know what you're on about. Does she have to pee? A banana because... Wow. Oh, wow. That was getting nice quickly. What are you going to do with that banana? <laughs> yeah, I bet you're like, glad you're out of the camera now. And that is some brilliant banana peel placements. <laughs> because it would be lewd otherwise. <laughs> uh, then you sell it to adults, clearly. <laughs> I bet you don't have to ask him twice. Yeah, then it might get a glorious view. Yeah, that's not the view he's interested in. It's a butterfly. Or the robe, one of the two. <laughs> Don't ask too many questions. But yeah, I do agree. She is a bit sexier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> A glorious thing to imagine. <laughs> uh, a little bit young to have moments like that, but sure. I mean, they're in middle school now, so yeah, that was even younger. Oh. Lucky for Elizabeth, I guess. It went normal. I don't know why we're looking at their feet while they're talking, but... Well, I know why, to save budget. She decided she liked it soft, you know, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and 
very happy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's kind of incredible. There's no shortage of tennis buckets there. You know, speaking of. <laughs> it's just a coincidental meeting that does look very suggestive. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's not actually what's happening, but... Of course, the one girl got some footage of that. You know, put in the right hands, he could get fired. <laughs> a weasel in your hair. That's a bit of a stretch, but... <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a ghost. It's just a disheartened coat on it. I could tell. <laughs> I'm waiting for a jump scare. Or tears, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess I was a little bit jump scarish, but. So she walked towards her just to look at her, then run away. More than usual. <laughs> I don't think she's old enough to hear this. <laughs> Yeah, that was exactly what happened. <laughs> yes. But why Chitosa? <laughs> I bet Austin has body temperatures always like that. Are they all gonna end up sleeping together in the same bed? Because <laughs> poor Cheeto said, <laughs> "Hey, if you want to switch positions, Cheeto said, just say the word." <laughs> cool way to sleep there, could have said. Hopefully she doesn't do anything rash. I'm on a trip. Well, you were already on a trip, so... <laughs> I know, right? Oh, and I guess that's just where we're going to leave off on. So, that was the eighth episode of Soft Tenny. Another great episode. This time, the bulk of the episode, or at least the first half of it, was them doing Misaki's warm-up exercises, which were quite intense. And Misaki, apparently the warm exercise is what did the Akadama girls in. But yeah, Misaki, I I love her. She made, She's become one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character. Just that scene where she was just bouncing on the ball. Just that look on her face, just, I don't know, that really did it for me. That was really when I just fell in love with her. And then they gave her the cat outfit and she got all zoomed around and just, she's adorable. I love her so much. I would love for her to just get more screen time in general. Like transfer to Akadama or Shiradama, whatever the main girl's school is, and be join the tennis club. I'm sure they would gladly have her, because they said she was like a national champion. Of the singles, at least. Obviously, it doesn't... You always see, you know, for a team... So, sometimes people who are good at single matches aren't good at team matches. But I still think she'd be a valuable asset in more ways than one. But yeah, the warm-ups. Warm-ups were pretty, pretty intense, and they had some pretty good opportunities for... 
wardrobe malfunctions, I think is what they're called. A lot of skirt, a lot of upskirts, a lot of skirts and panties being pulled off. A lot of just grayness all around, really. And yeah, very, very good. Very good. Especially the moment when Misaki realized that they could see under her skirt. She's like, okay, I'll put something up to cover it. And then they just pull everything down in another scene. It was great. And of course, the Akadama students and everyone were able to recover due to Leo's magic. And Elizabeth and Misha actually had a little talk at night, which Kotona ended up misunderstanding. And as a result, ran away. She went on a trip, despite the fact that she was already on a trip. So we're getting tripception at this point. So I guess next episode will be having to hunt down Kotona. Wherever she went, who knows. And Asuna and Leo actually went on a little date of their own, which I'm sure Leo was quite happy about. And another highlight of the episode was probably Asuna falling. She tried to grab onto something to have pre- prevent herself from falling. But but Misaki had nothing to grab. Well, she grabbed something, but it wasn't really enough to be all that helpful. And that, that, was, that was also pretty great, just grabbing Misaki's delicious flat chest. In any case... Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoky, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.